myself this prodigy from the infamous Mob Deep. You know what I mean? Right now, we in the neighborhood bodega, and we're gonna do something out of Commissary Kitchen, my infamous prison cookbook. The new book that's out right now. While being locked up, you don't have too many choices of what you can make. You have to make do or whatever's available to you. What we're gonna do is probably some macaroni salad uh, with some apples. You know, that's one of the recipes in my book. And let's get it started. Elbow noodles. Matter of fact, we can use these instead. Let me get some mayonnaise. Use the light mayonnaise. One can of tuna is good. We'll go with this earth balance. Grab one of these apples. The butter we use in gel, not too good for you, you know what I mean? This is definitely way better. You know, we had to use whatever was available to us, you know what I'm saying? The book got only the things that was available to us in the jail. You could take those same things and just switch it and just, you know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna use something more healthy than, than that stuff we was using in there. Always wash your hands first before you cook, man. Don't be no dirty ass cook, you know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill this bowl up with some water, and put it in the microwave. You want to get the water hot and boiling first before you put the pasta in it. Butter to the water so the uh, pasta don't stick. So it doesn't stick in there. We're going to throw this in the microwave. We would use this can top right here. And uh, that's how we would cut our onions up and stuff like that. While we're cooking, like the little hour or two it takes to prepare a meal. It's like takes our mind off of where we at for a little while, you know what I mean? You kind of forget where you at. So it's like food helps, you know, ease that tension that's in there. It can help like bring it down a little bit. And plus, you know, some people might, you might have a group of people that you fuck with in jail or that you rock with, you know what I mean? So we all chip in and we make a meal together and that also help ease the tension. And like for me, I gotta eat healthy because I got sickle cell anemia. So it's good for me to eat healthy every day. If I, if I don't want to feel pain, if I don't want to get sick, I got to eat good every day. And the only way to do that in prison, you got to prepare your own food. You know what I mean? Only way to do that out here in the world, you really got to prepare your own food. Little things like that, you got to go do on your own. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to do it for you, so. Bust open these bowls real quick. Kind of crazy to use a plastic knife for this, but this is all we had in jail too, so. You can use what you want. You don't got to use no plastic knife, you know what I'm saying? You can use a regular knife if you got one. I think we might use a regular knife because this shit is crazy. Before I went to prison, I would cook little things here and there, nothing crazy. Stuff that I learned from my moms. My mom was a big cooker. She would cook a lot. And I learned how to make chicken parmesan from her. She make bomb chicken parmesan. I was locked up with this Rastafarian dude and I showed him what I was doing, and he was actually a chef in the street. And he told me, he said, yo, P, he said, yo, keep some of those apples from, from Chow. I said, oh, all right, cool, for what? He said, I'm gonna put it in the macaroni salad next time we make it, I'm gonna show you how to make it with apple. I was like, apple? Why would you put apple in macaroni salad? Like, you know what I mean? He was like, trust me, trust me, I know what I'm doing, it's good, trust me. I was like, all right, I'll try it, you know what I'm saying? So, I tried it. It was pretty good. So now what we got to do is mix it up a little bit, make sure there's no chunks sticking together. We got to use a lot of mayo because it mixes in with the macaroni, so you want, you want enough mayo so it don't be dry. We're going to get some salt and pepper. Mayonnaise tuna right now. There's a lot of mayonnaise in there, right? But when you add the macaroni, it all spreads out and it looks a lot better. Always clean as you go, bro. Always clean as you go. Trust me. It'll save you some time, we'll clean up later. We'll go rinse this off. One of the main reasons why I did this book was to uh, you know, share my experiences in, in jail, what I went through, having to eat healthy as possible. But another major reason why I did this book is to shed some light on how bad the food 
uh, is in prison and how we need a lot of prison reform. Right now in the U.S., there's the biggest prison strike in U.S. history. And what's going on is the inmates, you know, they, they want better conditions. They want better food. They want better pay for the jobs that they're doing in there. You know, every jail got different jobs. Some jails make license plates. Some jails make desks and chairs for schools. But the prisoners, the inmates, they only get paid like six cents a day. That's nothing. Like, how are you supposed to buy commissary with that? You know what I mean? How are you supposed to survive in jail with that? You can't. And um, they demanding prison reform. You know what I mean? And a big part of that is food. This is looking righteous. So basically, that's what it looks like. We ain't got no strainer, so we're gonna thug it out. You wanna throw the apples inside of the macaroni bowl. Man, when I came home from jail, I let my kids try this. They, they was like, wow. I started, I had to make this every day for them. Like, this is like one of their favorite recipes out the book. My mom's recipe with the little roster touch to it with the apples. And hey man, you make this for your friends, you're gonna blow their mind. They're gonna be like, wow, he's really a chef. He knows how to cook. You make this for your girlfriend, she's gonna love you. All right, so this is looking pretty good. And there you have it. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. That's it, bro.